going to do a video today on uh, how to make a Predator pack uh, for the M60 machine gun or really it could be used with any machine gun that shoots uh, 308 um, belt and has a feed chute attachment for it like a 1919 for example. Uh, we're going to start uh, like all of our videos by identifying each component that you're going to need. Um, this, uh, this project, if this is something you're going to take on, can be very expensive as these components are very hard to find. So um, I'm going to start with uh, the M60 um, feed chute mounting bracket. I start with this because this is this is probably going to be uh, the hardest part to find aside from the feed chute. Feed chute is very difficult to find. These were made specifically and only for the M60 machine gun. Um, it mounts to the side of the channel and uh, we'll go over that. So that's the M60 feed chute mounting bracket also referred to as a magazine bracket. We then have uh, the M60 mounting plate, this feed chute mounting plate. This sits in the bracket. Again, we're going to go over how all this stuff works. Stainless steel. We have our feed chute. This is 762 feed chute. Um, it's made by Standard Armament. Um, you're going to need a proper box end. These two clamps here, that's called a box end. And an M60 gun end. Before you go out uh, on the internet and buy a gun end, just be aware that there's no websites that have a correct gun end. Numrich um, has uh, gun ends, but they are for a right hand feed weapon and will not work with this setup. We have two types of boxes here. Um, uh, we'll go over this box first. This is called an XM23 ammo box. Uh, it, it's off a. It was used on Huey helicopters. It holds 400 rounds of ammunition. There's a window on the top of it, so you can see uh, where your where your ammo counts out as you're firing. Um, I don't use this for my Predator pack mainly because you have to kind of use an Alice pack frame to use this particular box. Whereas, uh, but again, we'll get into it. I like, I like it to be concealed in uh, some type of pack, which is why I use this box. This is off a V100 Commando armored vehicle. Um, these both hold 400 rounds of ammunition. We can see our feed chute mounting points here. That's where our box end goes. All right, we're zoomed in here. Um, let's take a look at these boxes. We'll start with this one. Uh, you can see there's a latch on the side, and this latch is what holds our lid on. When we remove our lid, we can see that there's three compartments inside of this box. And that's what makes this able to, to feed, um, is because it's compartmentalized. Each compartment holds 100 rounds of ammunition, and then another 100 can sit on the top. Take a look in this one, our XM23 box. We can see the same thing. It's three compartments in there. Um, and again, 100 rounds per compartment, and then uh, 100 rounds can sit on the top. Loading procedures is pretty simple. easy to load. So again, this is a uh, ammo box can off a V100 and this is an XM23 box off a uh, XM23 armament system which was used on Huey helicopters. Alright, moving on to our next component. We have the uh, pack that all of this sits in. Um, and ooh, the, the to be clear, you know, these Predator packs have been around since the beginning of time. Guys were making them 
in Vietnam. Um, this is not a genuine idea of mine. I think I just uh, built one a little bit differently than other people. And that just came about because I was at a surplus store and I saw these packs. And uh, I had a V100 box and I realized it would fit perfectly in there. So this is a, uh, this is a bag for a PRC 113 radio. I got this at a surplus store. Uh, very, very, very heavy duty pack, 1970s surplus. Um, and what we can see with this is, uh, it's thin in here, all right? It's not, it's not bulky, it sits on your back nice. And more importantly, there is heavy duty padding all along the inside of this pack. And that's good because when you have a uh, you know, 50 to 80 pound ammo load sitting on there, it makes it pretty comfortable. Again, heavy duty straps quality that we see in most of our uh, you know, 70s and 80s surplus gear. This is what they look like brand new. They came in a nice heavy duty bag like this. All right, so how does all this come together? How do we put all this stuff together to make it work, to make it one functioning unit? Um, the first thing uh, is to attach our feed chute bracket, our feed chute mounting bracket to our M60. So, just to show you here, I have one on the gun already. Um, you can see it attaches to the side of the channel. Um, typically these were riveted on, but you can use the same uh, hardware, little nuts and bolts, that came with uh, that came that come with like a E4 hanger. Uh, very very simple to attach. So that's step one. We want to attach our magazine bracket, feed chute bracket, whatever you want to call it. Um, step two is going to be to uh, um, put our box in our pack here. So when you get this pack, there's going to be some. There's going to be some. Let me zoom in here. There's going to be some straps in here uh, with buttons on them. You want to cut those off because it's going to hang up. Um, it's going to hang your box up. It's a tight fit in there. So we have our box. Now you want the, uh, the feed to come out of the box. And if you are right-handed, you want the feed chute coming over your left shoulder. So we're going to put this in. Uh, facing the correct direction. And again, it's tight fit. Um, now, for loading this, you want to kind of leave this high so you can access the, uh, the, uh, the latch to the lid. And um, just push it down some. And it's sitting pretty nice in there. We can see it's a nice, good, tight fit. Very tight. There's uh, no play in there, and that's what we want. Now, once our uh, our uh, box is in place, let me move some of this other stuff. We'll go ahead and we'll attach our feed chute to it. And this is pretty simple. So we have our box in here. All we're going to do is just use the clamps as they were intended. Make sure it's not getting caught up on any material. And we're seated good on there. We can see that um, it's coming out nice. And another reason I, I failed to mention that this pack is perfect for this setup is it's open on the sides. Um, remember, this was intended to be used with a radio, so they had to leave an opening on the sides for antennas. But you can see it's a perfect opening for our feed chute. Now, we have our gun end here. Uh, we're going to attach our mounting plate 
so that we can hook it up to the gun. So there's basically two plungers. And uh, we want our mounting plate to go right between them. And we push these plungers down and it's attached. All right. And we'll get our gun up here. I'm going to put it on its side um, just because it's easier to show you there. Bear with me. So we have these uh, levers on the side. They're spring-loaded. Um, this will sit in here. If you can see it, put it under one tooth and it'll snap in place into the other. Now that feed chute is completely mounted to the gun and it's ready to go. Now one thing I didn't specify on is how much feed chute do you need? Uh, this is a five-foot section here. I'm about uh, I'm about 6'1", so I mean if you're a taller, bigger person, you might need a little more, but I, I think you could get away with four feet, maybe even less. All right, we got our gun mounted up here. Um, our M60 is set up in E3 configuration. This is the lightest configuration they made for this weapon. Uh, pack is sitting nicely on my back, as you can see. Down here, uh, all that padding that's inside there um, just kind of makes it uh, pretty comfortable on the back. Again, we have our feed chute coming over our left shoulder and uh, it's going directly into the gun. Pack holds 500 rounds of ammunition, 400 in the can, and another 100 in the chute. And that is the complete tutorial on how to build a Predator pack for the M60. Any questions, please ask.